All right, so as many of you already know, you know, it's the off season. The I would say the the first two weeks of NFL free agency, that was where we got all of the biggest, you know, splash moves, players getting traded, players getting released, you know, big name players finding new teams, big name players, you know, from winning teams getting released, going to other winning teams and so forth. But there's still that there's always that second wave, that, that third wave of agents where you can still have value. Um as you as the teams, you know, prepare for the 2024 campaign. And what I want to talk about today is these, you know, these constant stories of theories out there of Odell Beckham Jr. being, well, the Saints being the best landing spot for Frazier wide receiver, Odell Beckham Jr. Now, just to put the uh, disclaimer out there, this is only opinions by, you know, NFL writers, you know, theories by NFL writers. There's nothing that has been set in stone on where OBJ is going or any contact between Odell Beckham Jr. and the New Orleans Saints brass. But there is the only, like, legitimate report out there is that the Miami Dolphins did offer Odell Beckham Jr. a contract. And then from what I've heard, that deal is still on the table. But besides – but it, even though that, that offer is out there, there are people out there that believe that Odell – that the New Orleans Saints – or the best landing spot for his services. So what I'm I got pulled up on my screen right now is this article that came out a few days ago from Pro Football Network. And they were just, you know, got the, the top fridge that's available right now. They just have a list of the best fits for those players. And written by Dallas Robinson of Pro Football Network. And we're just going to just read the, the excerpt that he Wrote, wrote down for OBJ going to the Saints, the reason. Odell Beckham Jr. flashed when healthy in 2023 and still has juice in the passing game. But his age and injury concerns means he's unlikely to have even half the $15 million salary he earned with the Ravens in 2023. While the Miami Dolphins have made an offer to OBJ, we have a different, we have a different fit in mind. The Saints have re-signed, have not. The Saints haven't re-signed Michael Thomas. He needed WR3 to compliment Chris Olave and Rashid Shaheed. Beckham might be willing to take a hometown discount to return to his native Louisiana. End of story. All right. So, my thoughts on that is this. He's right to a certain extent. The Saints will not give him. He will not... He will not get a one year, fifteen million dollar deal with the Saints. Now, I'm, and that, it won't be a thirteen million dollar deal, twelve million dollar deal. It won't be nothing in the tens. It's gonna be probably like a one year, five million dollar deal, or six million dollar deal. It might be one of those contracts similar to what Chase Young got. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. If Dennis Allen, now I don't think OBJ is not active on social media as Michael Thomas was. He's not, he's not the one to like voice his opinion on the issues with the team as Michael Thomas did. Um, I, a lot of OBJ's posts on social media stuff, because I, I see it comes from his Instagram account, but I don't see him. You know, I don't think Dennis Allen wants to deal with that again. You know, I don't, I don't, I mean, a receiver that a third a, at this point in his career is a WR3 and he commands that much attention in the locker room and the media. I don't think he wants to deal with that, to be honest. Um, I don't know if OBJ will want to come here. I mean, um, I know this is, this is the Louisiana, the ones Louisiana this is his hometown. But I don't think that's a big deal to him. I don't think, you know, being playing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that story 
that part, that angle of the story means that much to him compared to competing for a championship, you know, being able to contribute, win games. That means, I think that means a lot to him than being playing in front of your home crowd. Now, they're saying that he said that the Saints don't have a WR3 to compliment Chris Olave and Rashid Shaheed. So, and a lot of, and a lot of people have, have said that. You know, they're not really the sample size that A.T. Perry showed in those last couple of games wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And I'm not I'm not sure if A.T. Perry can play. People, people are comparing A.T. Perry to Michael Thomas. But I don't know if A.T. Perry can do the same things as, as a Michael Thomas. I don't know if A.T. Perry, Perry has the same attributes as a Michael Thomas. You know, can he play on the outside? Can he play on the inside? Can you know what I'm saying? Can he be a slot receiver when you need him to be? Can you I know he can be a he can, he's a um, a very good deep threat player compared over I compared to Michael Thomas, but but can you put him in those about multiple roles and can he have success um success? But that is not a slight against AT Perry because I think he has his own unique skill sets and traits that will make this offense um spectacular. It will make this offense potent. You know what I'm saying? And that team we went to last year, OBJ went to last year, let's be honest, that's a run-first team. Baltimore was a run-first team. Um, Zay Flowers was their number one guy. You know what I'm saying? And they also had Rashad Bateman, who I think is a really good wide receiver, but his biggest issue has been help. And the numbers he put up with him weren't bad. Just some reason weren't bad numbers. They weren't great, but they were just they were solid to me. 35 catches, 565 yards, three TDs, average 16.1 yards um, per game. If we could get a guy, a WR3, to do this, you know, catch 45, 50 passes, 500, 600 yards, receiving 700 yards, five, six touchdowns. I think we'll be a good team. We'll be a good offense, man. If, if OBJ could, if OBJ could sign with the Saints and do this, I think it will help out a lot. It will help out a lot. You know, but the Saints right now, man, have other pressing issues. And I know – Dennis Allen said he would like to add another pass catcher to the offense. And I think you can get this production right here, 35 catches, 565 yards, three TD, 16.1 yard average in the, in, the, uh, in the draft. You can find this type of player that could put these numbers up and probably even do more than OBJ at this point in his career. You know, that way, you're not spending any money, you know, because he's not going to take pennies. You know what I'm saying? I don't think OBJ is going to come in and take pennies like a Chase Young did. You know, OBJ has won a Super Bowl. Um, at, the, at the peak of his career, before these injuries occurred, he was on pace to be one of the best wide receivers in the game, probably in the, in the history of the game. He was that spectacular, you know, but – Injuries kicked in, and it kind of slowed him down. But he did win the championship. He was going to be Super Bowl MVP before that. He tore his ACL in the Super Bowl with the Rams. That was, you know, that was that was that was throwback OBJ. He was dominating that game, you know. But it is what it is now. But um, I wouldn't have an issue. I would not have an issue at all if the Saints decide to bring Odell Beckham Jr. At, um home to New Orleans sign with the team. But I just don't think it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of wide receivers, a lot of value in the NFL in this year's draft, as always. It's in the first round, the second round, the third round, even the fourth round. You can find this guy. You can find this type of player, and he can put up these numbers. 
You know, but a lot of this is going to depend on how quick Derek Carr can learn his offense. And if the issues at offensive line are straightened out. Because right now, the Saints' problem is you might you're probably gonna have you need help at right tackle and left tackle. So you need upgrades at, at both sides. So that to me is the more pressing issue. So I don't think the Saints will sign Odell Beckham Jr., but you never know. You never know with Mickey Loomis. He at this time during this time of the year, things crazy things have happened. You know, uh, they will, I, I do. I do expect them to make another big move after the draft, though. Um, there, will, there's a lot of players out there they can add to um, help out this team. So we'll see how it play out. All right, so that's y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you think the New Orleans Saints are the best fit for Odell Beckham Jr.? Also check out strike 7 sportscom forward slash Saints. For the latest content on the Orleans Saints organization, have a blessed night. Peace. I'm out.